What's going on guys? Welcome to the final third cigar reviews. If this is your first time here, I would like to invite you to go subscribe to the channel. There you can check out some helpful tips as well as my ever-growing catalog of cigar reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing a cigar that I have not had before. I actually don't think that I've had anything from the Foundation brand, but this cigar has been getting a lot of attention on my pages. I've been asking uh, what you guys want me to review next and on Facebook and YouTube and in person I've been getting a lot of requests for me to review this cigar so here we are tonight I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing lit up and let you guys know what I think about it so this is the Tabernacle Havana Seed Connecticut number 142 The cigar that I'm smoking tonight is a 5x50 Robusto, and honestly, I'm not too sure if I am more drawn to the band or more drawn to the wrapper leaf here. So first, we're going to check out this band uh, that I am assuming is going to be a king, hence the crown. I'm pretty sure that that is just off of a whim. I'm going to say that's King David. I don't know why I want to say that, but it feels right. Um, the text under here says uh, the Tabernacle Havana Seed Connecticut number 142. Um, all in all, I mean, that's that's a pretty cool looking band, I think. Kind of looks like a, a portrait in a frame. But also, competing with that, you have this beautiful wrapper leaf that also kind of has um, these different... Um, imperfections that's in it. Uh, I hope it doesn't really cause it to uh, smoke wonky or anything like that. But let's see if I can pick this up on the camera. There's little teeth in here. They're not really too pronounced, but if you look close enough, you can see little teeth. All that tells me is that there's just gonna be a lot of flavor packed all into every draw that you take and it's just, it's gonna be a beautiful smoke, hopefully. Let's go ahead and get this thing cut and lit. The cap on this cigar was beautifully cut. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm like a professional at cutting cigars or anything, but I just, I feel like that is such a crisp and clean cut. Also, this is a really firm cigar, not overly firm. There is just a little bit of play in it, but I feel like this is gonna be a really nice smoke. I'm really excited about this one. Let's get it lit. immediately at light up there is so much flavor i feel like i'm picking up on a hardcore amount of pepper here that is only masked by this charred oak and i mean it is super charred it's like barbecue charred on the back end of that there is um it's like a coffee note that's coming in and then right behind that kind of rounding everything out there is just a very very subtle sweetness that's coming in like um, some kind of chocolate maybe but it's super subtle I need to get just a little bit further into this cigar to see how these flavors develop I am now pretty well into this cigar and I am already feeling it. It's either that or I am feeling this Crianza Rioja. <laughs> there is so much going on this early in the cigar. I am absolutely blown away, guys. I am picking up on uh, cocoa and coffee. There is still that uh, charred oak that's coming in right after that with a little bit of leather. I'm still getting that pepper and then rounding everything out, I'm getting kind of a toast, uh, like a bready note. Um, it honestly goes really well uh, with the smokiness, the charred oak, um, the, the little bit of chocolate and coffee and especially with those little you know peppered in notes of pepper fantastic so let's go ahead and take a look at this burn now that is a little wonky I mean it's relatively straight 
but the ash itself just kind of looks like it's peeling. And if you have any idea what causes that, can you let me know in the comments? Because that is something that I haven't really, I guess, grasped or comprehended. Uh, I, I haven't, I don't know what's going on here. I know that it's still smoking, fantastic, but I don't know why sometimes the ash just kind of peels like that. The draw is absolutely legendary. I mean, it is absolute perfection. Uh, the flavors, of course, fantastic. I really don't have any complaints about this cigar. It does look like it's a little bit beat up from all of the imperfections that's in the wrapper leaf. Uh, but, I mean, you can't, you can't fault it for that whenever it smokes this good. I think I'm gonna go grab myself a little bit of water and then I'm gonna get into the second third and see how these flavors develop. I am now pretty well into the second third of this cigar and I feel like all of these flavor notes are pretty much staying the same at this point. I'm not really complaining about that whatsoever. There are fantastic flavor notes that I'm picking up out of this cigar and really I don't want them to change. Something that I've noticed about this cigar, really two things. The first thing is it is so smoky. This cigar smokes like a freaking train. So you don't wanna smoke this cigar anywhere near uh, where cigar smoke is not wanted. If you're gonna be in like a smaller confined area, not a lot of ventilation, if your wife is around, this isn't the kind of cigar that you're gonna wanna have in those situations just because this produces so much smoke. The second thing is, it's actually pretty strong. I wasn't expecting this cigar to be as strong as it is. I did a little bit of research and everywhere that I've seen, it's ranging at about a medium to maybe a medium full. I feel like at this point, it's probably medium full already. So whenever I get to the final third, I'm expecting this to be a full strength cigar. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this uh, burn line here. So that is relatively straight. Uh, I did end up losing my ash. Of course, like I said, it was peeling and whatnot, so I wasn't really uh, too bummed out whenever I lost it. I kind of knew that it was gonna happen, but I mean, I'm dropping ash, big deal. This is such a flavorful, powerful cigar, and I am so excited that you guys recommended this one because it is phenomenal. I feel like this cigar would pair really well with a crisp IPA or maybe a sweeter spirit like a rum. If you're not looking for an alcoholic beverage to pair with this cigar, I would say maybe grab a Dr. Pepper or a root beer. Uh, a sweeter soda like that would go really well, uh, bringing out just a, a little bit of the sweetness from the cocoa, but also playing against the charred oak and the pepperiness of this cigar. I'm gonna give you guys my rating as well as my final thoughts in the final third. I am now in the final third of this cigar and I would say that all of these flavor notes are pretty much the same. Uh, there is one flavor note that I would say is coming in here in the final third and it's kind of a uh, molasses raisin kind of flavor and it's going really well with the other flavors that have been consistent through this whole smoke. It is a beautiful combination and I'm absolutely here for it. I decided to give this cigar a 94 rating. I knew that it was gonna end up being in the 90s. It is a phenomenal smoke. I don't know any other way to put it. Uh, the burn has been pretty great. I, I have had cigars that have a little bit better of a burn, but it's perfectly fine whenever you consider the amazing flavors that are coming from this cigar. And then of course you have the strength level. It didn't get as strong as I thought that it was going to. And the consistency has been absolutely spot on. Okay guys, full transparency, about 15 minutes after recording this cigar review, I realized that that strength level really crept up on me, so be careful, you have been warned. 
I was able to find a box of 24 of these Robustos for about $255. That makes every cigar just under $11 a piece, and that is a fantastic price point for everything that you're getting, everything I've already mentioned. It goes without saying that this cigar is absolutely box worthy. With this being my introduction into foundation cigars, I feel like I am about to go down a freaking rabbit hole. This has been a phenomenal experience. I absolutely loved this cigar. Again, thank you guys for recommending this one. But my opinion only goes so far, so if you have had this absolute gem of a cigar, let me know what you thought about it in the comments, and don't forget to check out next week's video as I review an absolutely legendary cigar. It is the Opus X Destino El Siglo. Until next time, cheers.